Memorizing Roulette Payout Odds, a presentation by Trina R. Sellers. There are two ways to memorize roulette payouts. One is visually and the other way is mathematically. In order to visually memorize roulette payouts, just remember payouts are printed down the center column of the roulette table. 35 for 1, 17 for 2, 11 for 3, 8 for 4, 5 for 6, and 2 for 12. The only exception is the 5 space line bet, which pays 6. You'll have to memorize 6 pays 5 and 5 pays 6, 6 pays 5 and 5 pays 6. A straight up bet is a bet on a single number on the roulette table. Notice that 35 is printed at the very end of the center column on the table. A split bet is splitting your bet between two numbers on the roulette table. If you take the roulette table itself and split it down the middle, you'll notice that 17 is in the middle of the table and it's located in the center column. The split bet pays 17 to 1. The street or basket bets are splitting your bet between three numbers on the table. If you notice, you skip Valentine's Day because there's no love on the roulette table, and you get to 11 down the center column. Betting on three spaces pays 11 to 1. A corner bet is splitting your bet between four numbers on the table. If you notice, the 8 is the very next number you get to down the center column. Another visual cue for a corner bet is the 4 and the 8 are on the same corner. And four, betting on 4 spaces pays 8 to 1. A line bet is betting 6 spaces at the same time. And 6 pays 5. Notice that the next number that you get to down the center column of the table is a 5. 6 pays 5 on a line bet. A line bet that's betting on 5 spaces can only be bet in one place. That's where the 0 and double 0 are included. 5 pays 6. This is the only exception to the rule that's not down the center of the column. It's because it's just kind of an odd bet. Anyway, 6 pays 5 and 5 pays 6. Just memorize that. 6 pays 5 and 5 pays 6. When you're betting whole sections or down the uh, column bets, you're betting on 12 spaces at once. Notice that the payout for that is actually still in the center column there at the very end. Uh, that's a 2. Betting on 12 spaces pays 2 to 1. If you're a mathematical person, the mathematical way to memorize the roulette payouts is through the mathematical formula. The formula is 36 minus x divided by x. That equals the roulette payout. x equals the number of spaces bet on. So let's plug the mathematical formula in. It's 36 minus x divided by x. So if you're betting on one space, 36 minus 1 equals 35. 35 divided by 1 equals 35. Betting on one space pays 35 to 1.
when you're betting on two spaces, it's 36 minus 2, which equals 34. And 34 divided by 2 equals 17. Betting on two spaces pays 17 to 1. Now let's bet on three spaces. 36 minus 3 equals 33. And 33 divided by 3 equals 11. Betting on three spaces pays 11 to 1. All right, let's bet on four spaces. 36 minus 4 equals 32. And 32 divided by 4 equals 8. Betting on four spaces pays 8 to 1. All right, now we're betting on six spaces. 36 minus 6 equals 30. And 30 divided by 6 equals 5. Betting on six spaces pays 5 to 1. Okay, here comes that exception again, betting on five spaces. 36 minus five equals 31, and 31 divided by five equals six with the remainder one. You just drop the remainder. Remember, you wanna memorize six pays five and five pays six. Betting on five spaces pays six to one. Okay, now we're betting in a section or down a column. And again, that's betting on 12 spaces at once. So we're going 36 minus 12 equals 24. And 24 divided by 12 equals 2. Betting on a section of 12 or a column of 12 pays 2 to 1. All right, here's the last one. Now we're going to talk about the front row, the ones that are closest to the guests. Those are actually betting on half of the board, and half of the board are 18 spaces. Okay, 36 minus 18 equals 18, and 18 divided by 18 equals 1. So the, all the front row bets pay 1 to 1. Okay, so you might be curious about the zero and double zero, or they're called ought and double ought bets. Those are basically what give the house an edge. They're paid out the same as the individual spaces. So if you bet one straight up, it pays 35 to one. If you split your bet between two, then it's paid 17 to one. If you bet the basket bet, which includes the two, that pays 11 to one. If you're betting five spaces, then again, that pays six. Uh, you can also bet between the second and third section right there. That's a courtesy, and it's the same thing as splitting your bet between both the zero and double zero or the ought and double ought bets. Um, it gives the house an edge. It's a little bit over 5% house advantage on roulette because of those numbers. Okay, just a review. In conclusion, there are two ways to memorize the roulette payouts. One is visually, just look down the center column to see what the payouts are, or the other way is mathematically. Remember the formula, 36 minus x divided by x equals the payout, and again, x equals the amount of spaces bet on. All right, good luck.